Hello, everyone. In respect for the other audience members, we ask that you set your phones to silent and refrain from texting, calling, or taking duck-faced selfies during today's netlink showing. If you don't comply, we reserve the right to escort you out of your room or office or wherever you are. It's just a respect thing. You Excuse me. Coolers, power supplies, and cases from Be Quiet feature exceptionally quiet operation and high quality German engineering. Click me to learn more. R Riley? J Julia? No, come on! Shall he BlackBerry's CEO has told The National, a Middle Eastern news site, that the company plans to launch two mid-range Android devices this year. While BlackBerry's first Android phone, the Priv, launched at the end of 2015 and was generally very well received, a lot of people took issue with the $700 US price tag. The upcoming Android mid-range phones, one with a physical keyboard and another with a full touchscreen, would aim for the $400 mark. Two blurry images have already leaked of the two phones, described as having the codenames BlackBerry Hamburg and BlackBerry Rome. Weird code names, but anything is better than the Priv. And grew on me, but no. No. Lytro, known for cameras which use light field technology, has announced the Lytro Cinema camera. If you're not familiar with light field tech, it basically captures information on the entire space in front of the camera, which allows you to reconstruct a scene in three dimensions rather than the 2D image you get with traditional cameras. This lets you do things like change the focal point, depth of field, shutter speed, and aperture all after you've already shot your footage. Lytro's new camera has some pretty amazing specs, 755 raw megapixels capable of 40K resolution and up to 300 frames per second. Lytro also says that because you're working with an inherently 3D environment, adding CGI and visual effects will be much simpler with Lytro Cinema. And it could even herald the end of the green screen as we know it. But, but what about blue screens? Lytro, no! Oh, oh no. It's begun. And Apple has filed a curious patent. The company's recent filing shows a MacBook with a single large force-sensitive input structure in place of a keyboard. The patent describes how the user could customize the surface to incorporate a number of different input methods. Now, I can actually see this being useful to enable different interfaces for music production or drawing, but I can't help but think replacing the keyboard with what is essentially a large touch-sensitive surface isn't going to go over well with people who, you know, want to type. Well, it's time for something small and fast. All the things we do need and all the things they say. I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. Here in the south side. Frick bits. Wow. Can't believe you got all those people to march and yell about how they can't get enough quick bits. That's very nice. Nice job. Just warms my heart. Thanks for your submission, Andrew. The rest of you send us a recording of yourself saying quick bits or lightning round or snippy snippets for a chance to get featured. Respawn released the first teaser trailer for the sequel to last year's somewhat disappointing Titanfall, reasonably entitled Titanfall 2, but this time around there's apparently going to be more weapon variety, an actual single player campaign, which is music to my ears, and freaking giant swords. All right, Titanfall. Uh... I'll give you another shot. Tesla is recalling Model X SUVs built before March 26th to fix a flawed hinge in the back seat, which could send the seat flying forward in an impact. They've already developed a fix and hope to have the 27,000 or so affected units repaired within five weeks. The Revel Arc is an action camera on Kickstarter that incorporates a motorized stabilization gimbal into the camera itself. It's inside of it. If you still weren't sure what the HTC 10 looked like after all the other leaks, a pretty official looking video just leaked online, so you can check it out. The US Department of Justice says they have other iPhones they still want Apple to crack, an iPhone 5S this time, apparently belonging to someone in the drug trade, and here we go again. And VideoCards.com has gotten their hands on photos of NVIDIA's GP104 and 106 Pascal GPUs, and shipping info showing AMD's Polaris 10 has 16 compute units, but there's a lot of numbers and speculation in there, so if you're really curious, you can check it out in the forum post linked in the description, along with the rest of today's news sources. Sources? It's sources. News sources, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's not fan service! It's relevant to the plot! 
Yeah, but it's not. So try to let your brain do the thinking and not that other thing. A while ago, we did a video on the Alienware Steam Machine, but NCIX didn't actually have it for sale. Well, that's changed now, thank goodness. NCIX now carries that Steam Machine as well as a number of Alienware gaming laptops and desktops. So if you're a fan of Alienware, click here for more info and or to purchase. And if you're not a fan, then please ignore everything I just said. All right, that's it for Nailing Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on social media over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now you can turn your phones off silent mode. Although, what if you're watching on your phone? I didn't even think about that. Wow. Uh, I hope you didn't watch this whole video without sound because I told you to put it on silent. That would be very silly. Although, if that was you, then you still can't hear me. So maybe we should put up some text? Saying turn on your sound. Can we do that? Yeah, thank you. Yep. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. You should rewatch the video with sound. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll go now.